You're still with your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Expresso right here on SABC3. Thank you so much for choosing to start your morning off with us. In fact, your day off with us on the right side of lockdown. Now, oh, this next conversation is really about to inspire you and take your entire mindset to a whole new level. Award-winning actor, producer and director Tapelo Mukwena is taking his passion for mentorship and sharing to greater heights with the launch, uh, rather the launch of a YouTube channel. Now, the artist corner aimed at existing and inspiring as well as aspiring actors and actresses uh, is such an incredible platform. And if this is not enough, he recently broke into the international scene, lending a role in a UK police drama. Tapelo Mukwena, so good to have you back on Expresso. Yeah, in the new normal day. So good to be here, bro. Ah, oh, man, it's so good to have you. Tapelo, firstly, I mean, let, let's talk about the COVID-19 pandemic and the lockdown that's come as a result of it. Uh, it's still very yeah. evident around the world, everywhere you turn. And now with the national yeah. lockdown still happening, how has this impacted your personal life uh, as well as your family? How did this change your, your everyday habits, for example, and your way of living? Man, like, you know, we went to sleep um, and then we woke up and we were all in a movie and we were all like supporting cars to this horror movie called COVID-19 and life literally changed immediately, you know, um, a lot of things, you know, I'm, I'm part-time teaching now, you know, it's, it's a thing, you know, to have a bit of teacher in you as a parent, a bit of teacher-like discipline. It's the toughest exercise, but it's got to be done. You know, my restaurant in Cape Town, which you know about, is 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 closed for now. It's 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 a really weird time for business. At the same time, you know, there's a lot of good within that. So it's 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 a roller coaster. But of course, before lockdown, uh, you landed a role in a UK police drama. How did this happen, and what was that experience yeah. like? That was um, just pure magic. You know, um, the day I was launching my restaurant and opening it in Cape Town last year, I got a call to meet an international director who had landed in Cape Town that morning. And I happened to be in the same city and he was trying to meet me and see me for a role. And they want to shoot Bulletproof in Cape Town, South Africa. And they want me to play the lead role of the South African character. You know, we thank the Lord that the madness with COVID-19 sort of picked up a bit later in the process because we were just finished filming when this whole thing started. You know, um, two weeks prior, we just wrapped everything in Cape Town and I'd just come home. And I suppose, as they say in, in that space, it's in the can. Luckily, it was in, in the, the can, can, baby. In, in the, the can. can. <laughs> By the time the lockdown happened. Uh, Tapelo, you know, what impact uh, has the lockdown had on actors and filmmakers seeing as there is a large amount of restrictions, so theatres are closed, yep. you're filming with masses yep. of people. What would you say is the way forward for the film industry and for actors, especially for someone who practices a lot in this space quite broadly? The fourth industrial revolution, the digital era that we've been slowly warming up to, is here in its fullest impact yet. Um, this was a long time coming for, for broadcast, for television, for cinema consumption. It's just about the how. Obviously, it's affecting the actor. Obviously, it's affecting the, the crew members, the cinematographers. There's less jobs to go around because there's less crew needed. Some productions are going back to filming in a very small scale way. It's changing a lot of things. You know, It does mean that you know, we as actors have to wait and see what the next season is for performance and when we go back, because it seems like we're going to go back to work fully down level two side, you know. So it is a complicated time, you know. I've got a, a film project that I'm, I was supposed to be on at this time, a movie project that's pushed forward. I've got another international series that I've, you know, that I've just picked up that's pushed forward. And so it, it just makes earning potential literally non-existent. So where are we at as artists? How do we use the little money that we make when we do make it to back ourselves up? These are the questions that arise. I think it's fantastic what you're doing, Tapel. It's really about 
stretching ourselves and challenging ourselves to be as dynamic as we all claim to be and still being able to make sure that our value is enjoyed by the people and the audiences that we serve. But here's some interesting and exciting news is that you have recently launched a new digital platform to guide and teach those who seek professional help in acting. And I, I think it's fantastic. It's called The Artist Corner. It's a brand new YouTube channel that'll expose your experiences and insights as an actor, of course, as a producer as well. Where did this idea come from and how can people be a part of it? It came from 2017 when I did my first talk, which was called Book Your First Gig, um, where I, you know, packed out a venue in Santon and people from all over the country came to listen to the likes of Terry Petu, Warren Masimula, you know, DJ Spoo, some agents in the room, SK Causal, yeah, amongst many, purely talking about booking your first gig. All of us know something about this. Getting your first gig that broke you into the industry. What is that process that led, that leads you up to that? That's what we explored. So that's when it began, you know, three months ago, slightly before lockdown, I started putting together the show. You know, both my online shows, especially the Artist Corner, I started putting together the content in my garage. I built a home studio, you know. Um, it, so I've just been clicking record and banking episodes. And the, and the intention, honestly, is everything I'm seeing with my two eyes as I navigate the world, as I navigate these different in, um, productions and territories, is honestly stuff that I wish the average artist could see could hear, could understand, could fathom, so they can then navigate better. This is really such an exciting platform, Tapele, and I take my hat off to yep. you for doing that. I think during this time, a lot of people are stepping back and trying to reimagine what their lives are looking like and trying to tap into yep. those dreams that they've left unattended for the longest time. The attention is full on, and so you want to make sure that yep. you capture that. And anyone who is wise will spend this time looking at those untapped spaces and areas of their lives. And being able to have a platform like yours really speaks to that and answers to that space and that need. Thank you so much for doing that. But also, Tapelo Mukweda, man, thank you so much for chatting to us this morning. Well done on all of your accomplishments. You, uh, you are fantastic, man. Oh, dude, thank you. We try. We've got to wake up and be positive um, and make sure we add value to everything we do and touch. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a good man, Tapelo Mugwena. His progressive insights and his absolutely enthusiastic attitude is something we simply do find amazing. And, of course, we do look forward to his okay. next venture as he uh, navigates the space of media, film, and television and making sure that he inspires all of us at the same time. Thank you so much for joining us here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.